Some people like the wall plain, and some people want something super colorful there. I don't know what to do. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa, and I'm the Viet Vegan, because I'm Viet, and I'm vegan. And for those who don't know, Vietnamese. Viet means Vietnamese, just because a lot of you guys keep asking me what Viet means. Today is going to be a grocery haul. So, I've talked about this on my Instagram and also on my latest blog post about how I'm trying to like be better about food waste and not waste as much. In the old apartment, we would probably compost a pretty big bag of food about once every week or so, which is like not good. Canadians apparently waste about 40% of their groceries per day, which is a lot of food. I tried to do my best to like buy what I was realistically going to eat, but we did go a little overboard, although this is probably Probably about two weeks worth of food. Let's do a grocery haul. You guys seem to like these grocery hauls and if you like watching these kind of grocery hauls, I'll leave a playlist in the corner for you guys to see the kind of stuff that we buy. If you've been here before, you're probably aware that we buy pretty much the same stuff over and over. So the first thing I got was some yogurt. Now I don't normally buy single serve yogurts like these because they're not really great for the environment, but it was like $1.80. I got some Daya peach yogurt. This is the most like yogurty tasting vegan yogurt that I can find. Next we have some Gardein crispy tenders. I used to buy these in like bulk from Loblaws under the store brand, but Gardein doesn't make those anymore, so blah blah. I also got some golden fish fillet. These are the, well they're vegan, they're like the vegan fish things from Gardein. Next we have some chopped spinach. I've been really liking buying this kind of spinach to use for soups and stuff because it just doesn't dye the rest of the food like a green color, which is like fine, but like I think I like this better. Plus you got like a lot of spinach and this was two for three dollars. So a dollar fifty each. That is a lot of spinach. I'll be using those in an upcoming recipe. We've been a big fan of Brinner lately. So if you guys don't know what Brinner is, it's when you combine breakfast and dinner. So you have breakfast for dinner. It's pretty ridiculously delicious. So for that, I have gotten some Earth Island cheese slices. I also got some smoked tofu blocks. I don't usually use this for recipes. I normally just chop it up and toss it in sriracha and then I just eat it as a snack. I also bought some field roast sausage. This is what I'm gonna be using for Brinner. This is the smoked apple sage one. We're gonna be making breakfast sandwiches with them. Tofurky roasted chicken. I haven't tried these before, so I thought I'd give them a try. We also got some chickpea sweet potato burgers. I actually don't really like eating burgers that much, but I like cooking these on like a pan and then putting them on salad. It's like a warm salad proteiny type thing. It's pretty delicious. And Soul Cuisine is a local Canadian brand. Next we have some watermelon. You guys have seen me get these before. Did you know that the best way to pick a ripe watermelon is not by slapping it or knocking it or whatever? I've actually worked with the watermelon board before. I have a bunch of recipes if you guys want my watermelon recipes that I've done with the watermelon board. I'll leave the links to them down below. The best way to determine whether or not a watermelon is ripe is one, look for a sunspot because that means it's been sitting in the sun. So that yellow spot is a good thing. And you want to pick one that is like a lot heavier than you expected. So when you pick a watermelon that's heavy for its size, it basically means that it is full of water, obviously because it's a watermelon and it's going to be a ripe one, you know? Juicy. I like to put them in the fridge, then I cut them in half, and then I eat half for breakfast, which you have seen in my What I Ate in Day videos. Next bag, we have some portobello mushrooms. This is gonna be another one of the Brenner type recipes. Next, we have some blueberries. These were kind of expensive. These were like $7, but I really, really like blueberries. I've been feeling, feeling the blueberry goodness. Next, we have a buttload of English muffins. Now, I didn't think that we would eat this many English muffins, but last week we bought this bag and we have like two English muffins left. There's six in each pack, six times Four. There's 24 English muffins. That's quite a bit of muffins. But the thing about this is that you can freeze them and keep them for later. So they're all individually packed, which is not great for the environment, but um, we're here now. I'm gonna put three in the freezer, keep one out, and then we have a rotation of English muffins to go through. And when you freeze them, you just take them out when, when you wanna eat the next batch, and it takes about like an hour or two for them to defrost. So not too shabby. Then you have like an endless supply of English muffins for Brinner. Next, I got some baby romaine. I decided to deviate from the regular spinach that I normally get, and uh, I'm pretty excited. These look good. The dark color means that there's extra antioxidants in the lettuce. That's why blueberries are so high in antioxidants. Basically any fruit or vegetable that has like a dark color, like red cabbage, pomegranate, blackberries. I can't even think of any other, anything that's red and like that means that there's extra nutrients in there. So eat the rainbow. The darker, the more colorful, the more flavorful, the more nutrient dense. I'm not making sense anymore, but you guys get what I mean. Next we have some non bread. You guys have seen me buy this before. This one is vegan friendly. I heat these up in the air fryer for about mm, two to three minutes, maybe like four minutes actually. And then it's like crispy, but also pillowy and soft and delicious. 
pretty rad. Doritos Heat Wave. This is mostly for Eddie. He was interested in this, but it is actually vegan friendly. Doritos makes a lot of like vegan friendly chips, actually. Well, that's not true. They have two. They have the sweet chili heat ones and these ones, but I always wanted like the roulette spicy ones, but those ones have milk in them, but this one's vegan friendly. So we're gonna eat some chips. Next we have some Eve's veggie bacon strips. Now I've had these before. I don't remember liking them, but this is mostly for Eddie to try out. Oh my God, I just got a whiff of it. It smells like bacon, ew. I mean, if you like bacon, it's probably a good thing, but they don't look very realistic. They look kind of weird, but you know, whatever, we'll try it out. Vine tomatoes. Now a bunch of you guys have mentioned that I should get those like reusable plastic bags instead of using these ones. I actually do reuse these every now and then, but I did buy the reusable ones, but I forgot to bring them, so. An English cucumber, greenhouse grown. Got some celery. Now I actually don't like celery and I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to celery, but I do like celery in juices, so. I wanna make like a dill smoothie juice thing again. I'm getting a juicer from my friend, which I'm really excited about, but they didn't have dill at the grocery store, so I have to go find dill from a local market. If you want the recipe for my dill smoothie, I swear it's really, really delicious. If you really like dill, you're gonna like this smoothie because it's like vibrant and like dilly, but also like sweet, it's, it's good. So I'll leave the link for that recipe down below if you want to see it. I've also mentioned it in a video before. One of my first what I ate in a days, but yeah, anyway, smoothie. Some daya. This is the daya chive and onion cream cheese style spread. We have a red onion, just a single one. I actually don't really like red onion that much. I find the flavor really, really strong. So I'm gonna make like a vegan watermelon feta salad. So lastly, we have some red lentils. These were $3 each per bag, which I was pretty stoked about. They were on sale. Now you can probably get them cheaper. I've seen that at Costco in even bigger bags, but I mean, I like lentils, but I don't, I don't need that many lentils in my pantry, so. Um, yeah, I have a couple of lentil recipes that you can try. I'll leave some links down below. They're super good for you. They're really high in fiber, good source of protein. They're really good for the environment. They like help return nitrogen back into the soil, which is apparently very important for farming. That is my grocery haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this a like, comment down below. Are you a big fan of Brinner? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification button if you are already subscribed and you wanna make sure you don't miss an update from yours truly because sometimes I don't upload on time because I'm trash. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. Veggie bacon strips. No, I don't really. Ugh.